I love glass because it's so malleable. When it's hot, you can move it around. When it's cold, it's very, very, it holds detail very well. When it freezes up, it, uh, an edge stays an edge, but then when you heat that edge, it rounds. And so in that way, it's a very sculptable material. All right, I like it. Our shape is looking nice. Our color scheme looks pretty nice. Now let's start throwing a few bits on. My name is Anthony Mashad Scorza. I own Scorza Art Glass, which functions out of the Armory Fire Arts Center. I'm a glass blower, and we've been blowing glass here for about six weeks now. Glass is very, very rhythmic um, because it's always moving and turning, and the beat slows down a little bit as it gets cooler and cooler. And so, yeah, usually when I'm in here blowing glass, the tunes are cranked up, you know, and I think the other artists like it, but I'm never sure. And that's a very pretty bit, but I want to add a little texture to it, so. The glass is always has a mind of its own and wants to do things, and it's your job to, to guide it into the shape and design that you like. By working alone, the key is to have everything set up so it's where you want it, so that when you get there, your one spare hand is useful. It's all about pre preparation, basically. 14 years ago was my first glass experience. I was hooked right away. They call it getting the glass bug. Uh, the immediacy of it. You can make things very quickly. You can also fail very quickly. There's this kind of, this life to it more than other materials that I've worked with. My work itself, uh, you can look for, you look for fun. Some of the fish have smiles and all the animals have a little smirk on their face like they know something they shouldn't. <laughs> little details for visual art are super duper important because you'll just, it just won't look right. And no one, you can't quite put your finger on it sometimes until you fix it. When I first started making the octopies, I couldn't figure it out. And then like, it took me three or four of them to realize why they didn't look good. The front two legs are almost always split because he's moving. And so he's usually propelling himself forward. And so just when I first split those front two legs, it was like, oh, that's a winner, you know? I'm inspired by new things every day. Nature, people, um, colors, you know, it's, uh, shapes. The, the vessels are all very shape orientated. We're looking for symmetry and beauty. We're trying to do something that's going to be inspiring to people and let them take a little chunk of that home with them, you know. And then on with the big gloves. And then into the big oven. Artwork can be subtle or very pronounced, but whatever it is, it's uh, when you bring it into your living space, it's gonna affect it in one way or another. And if it's something that you value quite a bit, I feel like it's a positive thing for everyone involved. 